Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Rose Garden Gems. I'm Gemma. I will just finish uh, mowing the grass and I couldn't stop um, looking at this beautiful rose on my rose arc. I haven't introduced them to you yet, but it's a good time for me to have a break now and make a um, video because um, starting yesterday and the next days until Thursday, we will have high temperature, but at the same time, we will, we will have rain every day until Thursday next week. And tomorrow, even a little uh, thunderstorms. So yesterday I was able to make some videos, but I couldn't work on it. So I have to do a lot of garden work. I cannot cope up with the growth of the roses. But anyway, I'm working on it, guys. This one, I made a personal review of this already. It's Leonardo da Vinci, beautiful rose. Look at her climbing now. And I've got here, it looks um, not so healthy, elfy. This one is broken by the wind and they are crowded in this arc, in this rose arc, they are crowded. But this one is looking so fantastic as of now. I will introduce them to you in detail. This is a deep impression from Rosenthal. A very charming rose. Look at that color. So I'm tired now in working the garden, but as soon as I look at my roses, they, give, they are giving me the energy. Now my bed of roses here, which has 11 roses on it, they're quite slow. Two the obscure, one uh, bloom just fade away, but I've got plenty of uh, blooms yet. So I can not wait on that. In this area, this was actually prone very um, late. Oh, this is very beautiful too like the deep impression. This is Filatelli. Look at that beautiful color. And I'm waiting for the jazz rose to, to show its um, beauty. Normally this is really um, having the first flush in my garden early, but somehow it's late this year probably because I, I prune them late. Now, this one is so funny. I haven't even noticed this. It did not give me flowers for the last year, but now it is here in between the two roses. And my, my uh, how do you call these leaves? Um, the beautiful hosta. Actually, you call this uh, Fackelblume in German. So it's still uh, building up its flowers. So guys, this is the new project that I had with my son, Kevin. He helped me to put up this uh, division there as a very, very thin division so we can have a privacy here when I'm working and I was really dreaming of this to have my own my own uh, place for uh, Mama Mary and this one I just transfer this this is uh, perennial domino from Rosenthal and it's just open today that's why I, I have to get my my camera and uh, my cell phone to to show this. I just transplanted this from uh, the arc there. I think I transplanted it two weeks ago or three weeks ago with my son Kevin, and now it's the it survived really the transfer, and it's showing up the blooms. This is a very beautiful, I didn't smell it yet, but very beautiful, cute flowers of roses. Look at that. 
a lot of clusters and I was planning to put a white one here because I want to put some white for Mama Mary but I also have one here I have to remove that one this was still beautiful two days ago but I think because of the rain it becomes not nice looking I got the, I think the flower was there already for a week and this is uh, the new one that I bought it's a I bought it potted from Cordes Herzogin Luisa. It looks beautiful, the color. It has a fantastic color. I wasn't able to smell it, but I love this area. I still have to do a lot of things here. And here, as you can see, the grass is newly mowed. This is one of my projects here. I've got here uh, Olivia Austin just from David Austin it's just bloom now it's just open and it did not suffer the transfer in spite of the high temperature and this is from Cordes this is actually summer romance this is summer romance still picking up its color we had yesterday 27 degrees, so the roses have stress. So as of now, my garden is looking alive. Really beautiful now. I still have my mower there. As I said, I just finished um, cutting the grass. And let's go here. This I have already the video to introduce to you. And look at this beautiful Nelkin. So this is now showing my other rose arcs. We have there um, Marie uh, Louise. It's a French uh, climber. I don't know from where is this coming from. I don't know the name of the breeder of this, but I can remember the name of this is Marie Louise. And this one is beautiful mini Eden. I will have a proper review on her. So beautiful. It's now all, this is actually the first uh, flush of these roses. So probably later I'll do a proper video of them and share it with you the next days. This is a, uh, a container this is just a normal container with a bag of um, um, it's a potato uh, a mix of potatoes there and one of the potato there is um, violet potato and look there's a rose there <laughs> it grow it is growing I just put that there as a as a rose cutting but it looks like it's growing look at that I don't know which one is it but it's growing so these are all the newly um, bought roses, I think last year or two years ago, I think probably last year I bought it as a bare rooted roses, it was, needs some support because of the rain yesterday. So guys, this is just a uh, random uh, presentation of my garden without edit. I cannot wait anymore to present to you my garden uh, uh, well kept because there is always work in the garden and later will be rain again. Look at this a cappella saying hello to you beautiful it has a lot of buds but it's slowly opening its bud i have to take care of my tomatoes now and vegetable that's why i'm doing a lot of uh, work here the 
all the containers will be used for planting vegetables and it's becoming late now this is salvia the new um i think this is a new variety of salvia it's we call it charlach root and salvia or the scarlet red scar uh, sal um, salvia salvai in german the bees love them look at that so guys this is my this one is the center of attraction now i mean a lot of them are all beautiful most of the roses here are beautiful whether they are weak or strong they are beautiful oh there is one i want to show to you this one here This is a French rose from Delbar, and it's Andre Delbar. It's a beautiful rose with its color. I'm so obsessed with this. It's beautiful uh, border here with beautiful colors here. Look at that. This plant, I love it very much because it reminds me of my home in Cagayan de Oro. I'm a Filipina and my home is in Cagayan de Oro and this plant actually grow in at the door actually at the gate of my mom's house and when I saw this in Germany I right away bought it to remind me all the time of my home in the Philippines. beautiful this corner you've seen it already I made uh, actually um, presentation to you of these roses this is my pollinators paradise sorry guys my nose is no really uh, after cutting the grass my nose is so much now active with the pollen in spite of the rain it did not help but look at this this is my pollinators paradise very beautiful this will be coming up my review for this very beautiful blue for you say hello to Rhapsody in blue and this one it's like a it's like a disco there with its different lights really fantastic this area this is one of my favorite that's why i put the i put this one here because i was mowing and i can have this beautiful eden look at that and guys those are my projects one is actually really uh, growing nicely so let's see that's a lot of water there from the rain yesterday I have to remove that one it's soaked of water they're already black so it's not working some are working there so let's see Eden 85 is always gorgeous no matter what um, variety of roses are coming I mean new varieties of roses I wouldn't um, I will always have Eden 85 And this one, by the way, is uh, spreading some scent here. So I'm not wearing a mask now. And this one is emitting a very sweet lemon scent. A lot of lemon scent in my garden. So you can smell actually when the temperature, I mean the temperature like this, they even emit the scent. So. beautiful roses and with this um, this is uh, Sneevichen uh, the rose that is white as snow they said I say goodbye to you guys have a good weekend and I will load this right away this random blog
for you to see. I hope this video uh, brings a smile on your face. Bye.